So yesterday, some pretty catastrophic news broke for TikTok users, especially if you live in the United States, because it looks like the app might actually be getting banned from the country soon, and the ban might actually be coming a lot sooner than most of us are expecting. Experts in China are actually speculating that the TikTok ban will come this week, which when I heard of this whole situation, I was not expecting it to come this quick. I thought they were talking, you know, a couple months down the road, but no, it's here. Give it a couple days and TikTok might be wiped from the app. App Store. So before we jump into this one here, make sure to let me know what you guys think about this whole situation down in the comments. I'm definitely going to be reading through those. I want to know what you guys think about this because it's a wild situation. I've seen a couple people on Twitter and stuff just rejoicing about TikTok's ban. So let me know, are you excited to see TikTok getting banned? Have you been using it for months or maybe even years now? And you just really hope they don't go through with this whole ban? Let me know. I'm interested to hear what you guys think because personally, I've been using TikTok for almost a year now at this point and it would be pretty unfortunate to see one of my favorite social media apps just get wiped off the app store. You know, that would be pretty rough to see. So we're just gonna jump into this article from CNN that's just gonna pretty much break down this whole situation for us because, I mean, it's pretty wild. It's not looking good here. So the article starts off here with the United States is looking at banning Chinese social media apps, including TikTok, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Monday. Pompeo suggested the possible move during an interview with Fox News' Laura Ingram, adding, we are taking this very seriously. Seriously. So it sounds like this is not shaping up to be a good situation for TikTok. They're really investigating this seriously and discussing whether or not it would be a good move to just ban TikTok altogether. And as you guys are going to hear in the next part of this article, they're actually targeting TikTok specifically out of all the Chinese apps that they're looking to ban. It says here Pompeo was asked by Ingram whether the United States should consider a ban on Chinese social media apps, especially TikTok. And he responded here by saying, with respect to Chinese apps on people, People's cell phones, I can assure you the United States will get this one right too, Laura. He said, I don't want to get out in front of the president, but it's something we're looking at. Washington's top diplomat added that people should only download the app if you want your private information in the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. So it sounds like they're keeping a pretty close eye here on TikTok. Now you might be wondering why they would want to ban TikTok in the first place. You know what the point of this whole ban would even be? What did TikTok do wrong in the first place? Well, if you're not aware, in the past Past few months, TikTok has been exposed for basically spying on users' personal information and data. And the reason for that is TikTok is owned by the internet company ByteDance, which is based in China. And the problem there is, for businesses like this to operate in China, they basically have to work with the Chinese government and give them access to this kind of information. So that's exactly why I said there in the article, you should only be downloading TikTok if you want your information in the hands of the Chinese government. But TikTok actually has a rebuttal to this whole argument, and I hope what they're saying here is actually true because, I, like I said, I don't want to see TikTok getting banned, but TikTok responded to this claim by saying TikTok is led by an American CEO with hundreds of employees and key leaders across safety, security, product, and public policy here in the U.S. A TikTok spokesperson said in a statement following Pompeo's comments, we have no higher priority than promoting a safe and secure app experience for our users. We never provide user data to the Chinese government government, nor would we do so if asked. And I mean, I really hope TikTok turns out to be right in this situation, and they weren't just lying through their teeth on that one. Now, they end off the article here by saying TikTok, which is owned by Beijing-based startup ByteDance, has been repeatedly criticized by U.S. politicians who accused the short-form video app of being a threat to national security because of its ties to China. They allege the company could be compelled to support and cooperate with intelligence work controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. TikTok has said previously that it operates separately from ByteDance. It says its data centers are located entirely outside of China and that none of the data is subject to Chinese law. U.S. user data is stored in the United States with a backup in Singapore, according to TikTok. So I'm just going to hope TikTok turns out to be right in this situation. You know, like I said, it would suck to see one of my favorite apps just get wiped out of the entire country. That's crazy. This app that just became one of the biggest social media platforms in the entire world might just disappear. So like I said, definitely let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comments. It's a ridiculous situation. Are you a fan of TikTok? Are you glad to see it go? You know, you've hated it since the day it came out. You think it's cringy or whatever. And with that being said, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelaxYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.